Oh, that's so good. Oh my God, that's almost gonna make me cry. Yes, I mean, these are all women that um, I grew up watching on screen and I absolutely love their, um, their acting, the subtlety of their acting, but also who they are in a more public sphere as well and that they're all quite unafraid to, um, they're all quite unafraid to be themselves. Oh, fantastic, yes. Um, these are all books that I have absolutely loved reading. I've always been a really, a really big reader. It's a way of, um, of I, I find to really relax and, and switch off. I love just nothing more than getting lost in a book, although it is getting harder with your phones constantly in your face. But, um, but yeah, they're all um, very, um, very good, very good writers. Uh, Dylan Thomas under Milkwood. So this was um, one of the first plays I did actually. I went to um, a great drama group in Birmingham where I grew up, which was called the Central Junior Television Workshop. And it was um, just a fantastic place where I met um, children from all different backgrounds from all over the city. And we all came together once a week and we'd put on various plays and learn about acting and drama. And it was a place where I felt I could totally be myself. And that was one of the first um, performances we did, which was of Under Milkwood. <laughs> the goddess herself, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, who is someone that I have just um, I've had a fantastic time playing, who I deeply admire. Even looking at that picture, I just am taken to her singularity and the conviction with which she has spoken and acted with her entire life. Um, and someone that we can all look up to, you know, a principled leader, and, and they're quite few and far between at the moment. So this poster um, was actually created by the same people who did the Theory of Everything poster. Um, and they are just phenomenal. And I love the, um, you know, sometimes posters can just be really cheesy and they're just like somebody's face super close up. And I love the intelligence of this poster. I love that it manages to tell you the story of the film, which is one woman being able to fight and change the system. Um, and it does it so beautifully and subtly and effectively. Oh, yes. So The Lady from the Sea is one of my favorite plays of all time um, by Ibsen. And my uncle is an actor, Michael Hadley. Um, and this was one of the first productions that I saw with Alex Kingston um, in London. Um, and really, I, I just was completely mesmerized by it and, and was definitely a huge influence in, in wanting to um, b become an actor myself. Oh, that's so good. Um, Alan, so this uh, album, Alanis Morissette, Ironic, we used to, um, we had this music room at school and um, when we'd have break time, we would get the CD player out, um, which makes me sound really old, but never mind, um, and then put it on the side and put on this entire album and we'd just rage. We'd just dance to it for, <laughs> for the duration of the break. Um, and one of our favourite tracks was... Um, was was ironic, isn't it ironic? But it was from, yes, so the album that we put on was Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. But she was a huge influence because she felt like um, she was one of those early people that I really looked up to that was, that was doing things on her own terms and not being afraid to do that. Um, absolutely, um, which I haven't listened to for ages, so you've reminded me to uh, <laughs> go back and listen to it. Yeah, Bob Dylan is, um, again, actually was, um, my uncle who's an actor, was a, is a huge fan of um, uh, Bob Dylan, and um, he used to listen to him in the car driving along, and when we were little, we'd, we'd kind of sing alongside, and um, he's just, uh, Bob Dylan's someone who just speaks with such truth and conviction. Oh my God, that's almost going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> that is, which people look at that image and go, that's weird. That's not a particularly emotional image. <laughs> it's a picture of a cinema in uh, a place called Solihull, which is the UCI cinema that we used to go to as children growing up. Yeah, I had, that's so special. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>